Hey guys, it's Mr. North here again. Uh, finally, we're going to get to some of the Battlefront 2 beta footage for Galactic Assault. <clears throat> this first couple minutes, I'm just going to go through, run through all these different uh, main main classes and your, I don't know if they're called elite classes or not, but like your Jump Trooper and your Wookiee. And I believe that Galactic Assault map that they have available for the beta is Naboo. And we're just going to touch on some some of my uh, impressions on, on what I think about how the game looks and how it plays. The uh, specialist is the sniper class, and honestly, I feel like it, they're really good. Here, I'm going to go through all the weapon models so you can see all the beautiful models. I think, you know, they don't... Like, the first game, I feel like a lot of the, we the weapon models were exactly the way they looked in the in uh four five and six movies uh you know a new hope and uh <laughs> empire strikes back and return of the jedi this one they definitely look like more like they're from the clone wars era i don't i can't tell you for sure if they are i'd have to go back and watch those movies to see if they're exact you know copies but even if they're not if they just went and said hey let's make weapons that look like they're from Star Wars I think that's cool in game they're beautiful me personally I like the officer class I he's like the support I like you know and honestly I, I'm just gonna let you know when we do get to the gameplay I can't aim in this game for some reason not like Battlefield I tried getting my controls to feel the same but I don't know if it's the auto aim throwing me off because I have that turned off for Battlefield, it might be the auto aim because in, in Battlefield you have auto rotation and then aim slow down. And to me, aim slow down is more of a uh, more like a sensitivity thing where it just slows your sensitivity down a few notches when you get close to the enemy. And the auto rotation to me is more of the true auto aim where whenever you pull the trigger or the ADS, you snap you snap to a t the closest target. And I just turned that off because I don't. <laughs> that's I don't see the point of that. I want to get better at games, not have them, uh, you know, hand things to me. Uh, all those accessibility options aren't cool with me. Even though the uh, the slowdown in Battlefield, I I can say it's annoying whenever there's a group of guys and it tries to like slow down on one of them and you're trying to shoot a different one. But uh, yeah, here just kind of going through, like I said in my other video, even the Starfighters, they. They're kind of like their own class. You'll be able to switch these abilities out with the uh, star cards and replacement cards. And, uh... I haven't really tried all of them yet. I haven't been able to get into the walker. I can't wait for that. And then, uh, I just can't wait to see the full game. Because I want to see all the other vehicles since this spans across all the eras. <laughs> I tried Han Solo, didn't know what I was doing, because like I said, I bought the first one and I never really played it. The loading times were atrocious. Uh, it was beautiful to look at. Also where I was living at the time, I had internet, but they wouldn't open the NAT type for my room. They were really strict on the NAT type, and I really think the guy running the network at that current time didn't know what he was doing. So I tried to show him how to change it, and he got all mad and upset with me. And Probably because I knew more than what he did, but <laughs> it's all good. I didn't get to try this guy yet. I tried the Wookiee, and we'll get to that in a moment. I just wanted you guys to see what you're getting, get, like what you're buying into, you know. Or if you don't even, if you don't even want to waste the 16 gigabytes on the beta for Xbox, you know, kind of see what you're you're getting into before you you uh you download it. Because if you're like me, you only have a terabyte. <laughs> Uh, per month, which is enough for me, even if I stream all day or upload all day, like it's still plenty for the whole month. But you know, I'm the only person using the internet in the house. So, all right, like I said, uh, <laughs> the gameplay is not the, the best. I don't go any huge kill streaks or anything. I was just kind of testing out the mechanics of the game. Typically, in the beginning here. You'll notice that everybody just starts shooting down the f in down the middle, and you'll just see red lasers and blue lasers going everywhere. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna do a few wall tests here on the on the gun, 
just to, just to see how crouching and and aiming down sights affect you know your basic uh, your basic assault class or so, uh, trooper class. I was also messing with the roll. So the the roll the uh, so the roll it's a fast click for the roll. If you, well, I don't know how it works with the B button. I have mine to the stick. But if you if you hold the if you hold the stick in, you'll crouch. Like even just for a split second longer. But if you just tap the stick, if you just do the R3, click it in really quick, you do the roll. And it looks like you get about two rolls just before you get a sh very short cooldown. So people, are, it's pivotal in this game. You got to use it. You got to use it. And I was not able to implement it very well. So here I'm gonna do a few wall tests. I'm crouching, aiming down sight, <sighs> standing up. Not aiming down sight. You can see what happens. Crouching, aiming down sight from the same distance. As you can see, let me see. I think. Let's see. Aiming down sight, not crouching. Okay, and then I'm crouching, aiming down sight. Yeah. So crouching is crouching is going to make your weapon a lot more accurate, <laughs> for sure. Here, I was just checking out the tracking dart, see how that works, see if it has like a little circle like like battlefield or whatever. It doesn't show in the map necessarily unless there's enemies. The ring won't show, but you can see the area of effect there. And like I said, the gameplay is not immaculate <laughs> by any means. I I felt like whenever I found a target, maybe I'm not used to the the, the laser travel time, maybe? The laser travel time, uh, it's not an instant hit, it's not, it doesn't, at least not the way I felt, it, it's not a hit scan. It doesn't seem like a hit scan, it seems like it's a projectile, but it doesn't carry weight to it. So it's like a laser projectile that that's actually a real projectile. Um, I don't know if it was the auto-aim messing up my aim because I felt like I was overcompensating quite a bit and I even lowered my sensitivity but I still felt like I was jerking around when I was trying to get a target now I don't know if it's because I'm not used to the the troopers movement and the well, while aiming at them like I'm not sure if it's that perhaps um, I mean like like whenever I just walk around and stuff it feels just like battlefield you know for the most part I don't know if it's just that I'm not used to the trooper movements and the the gun the way the guns are yet and it felt a little erratic to me um, it could be that And if you don't understand how this game mode works, if you check out my other video, uh, it's actually a recording of the Galactic Assault training mode. Oh, one cool little thing about the gunplay. I will say, substantial, substantial upgrade to the first. You're not, every gun's not a freaking laser beam, <laughs> like super duper laser. Um, there's recoil that you have to control. See, I don't know how I killed that guy. That looks like it's because I should have been aiming ahead of him since he was running. But uh, the gunplay, it, it's its fun. Like, I, I, I try out all the classes here. One cool little thing, like if you've played Gears of War before, um, or the original Battlefront, um, one thing about this game is if you if you firing your gun, there, obviously there's no ammo. It's Star Wars, right? They use batteries, or I guess they just have a they see they guess they have an infinite amount of uh, power, you know. But uh, if you overheat your gun, I think I'm about to do here. If you see that blue one and the yellow, you don't have to hit the X button anymore. You can, but you can also just use your trigger, the same one you shoot with. What the blue one will do, which is bigger, it will grant you an immediate cooldown. The yellow one, however, which is, this is really cool. <laughs> um, if you hit the smaller one, which is yellow, you will actually, it will grant you a full bar where you just can, can shoot as much as you want. And it's you're basically using all that heat dissipation to just continuously fire and you will not have to worry about uh, overheating your gun. 
So after and that, so if the bar will turn yellow, and you can just shoot as much as you want while it counts down, and then you can keep shooting, and then it'll build up again. So now the only way you can get to that function, like that, the active reload style function, I would call it, is uh, to actually get to the point where you overheat your gun, where you you actually <clears throat> shoot it until the your heat bar completely increases. If not, you can hit X to do a manual cooldown. That was just kind of feeling the controls out a little bit because I just felt really felt sticky, felt sticky. And I know it's not my controller because it's a brand new controller I only use for fighting games. <laughs> but uh, yeah, the gunplay I can definitely say is a substantial upgrade. It's a lot more fun. It feels more battlefield esque. Here at this part, you get paired up, or you know, you get uh, squatted up with three other guys. I think three or four. I think it's three. I was just checking them, kind of how this, see if this worked the same way. Um, you can't pick who you're squatted up with, though. It's going to be random every time, and you can see what, you, and you can see kind of who they pick, and you have time to back out and select another class if you want. So if you see you have like three heavy classes, and you're like, oh well, maybe I shouldn't be heavy, you know, then you can back out and be an officer to give them more life to, you know, they can take more damage. So you can strategize like that. Unfortunately, you can't do that with your buddies. I don't know why this isn't a feature. Uh, I'm pretty sure Angry Joe brought this up in an interview with one of the 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 the, the one of the the uh, developers of the game. And he was saying, well, we wanted to make the game more easy for newcomers or something. And I'm just sitting there like, uh, didn't you do that for the $100 I gave you a couple years ago for the other one? Isn't that what that was for? <laughs> you know, why, why, uh, for lack of a better word, pull your dick out and show everybody, but not, wh why not just pull your balls out too? Why not just, just do it? You know, if you're gonna if you're gonna go all the way in, just go all the way in and and just give us exactly what you know we want. Don't don't give us the full package and then take uh, you know five percent of it away. It just seems idiotic to me if, from EA's perspective or whoever made that choice. And I hope to see a change in the future. Yeah, I think you actually see I do better with the... <laughs> that was just really bad luck. I think I do a little better. I have fun with the officer class. I don't know. I think it's just a pistol. Maybe it's more accurate. I do try a few of the classes here. Um, I'm going to... I already pre-ordered it because I thought you had to pre-order it to get the beta. <laughs> but it was actually pre-ordered to get two days early to the beta. And I actually had a lot of this stuff recorded yesterday. And every time I tried to upload it to Xbox Live... I couldn't, and I was like, well, oh, I was like, oh, maybe because it's a beta, you know, but it actually just turns out because I was still in early access for Xbox Live, they didn't want us sharing stuff yet, and it just, it was really discouraging because I had to record, re I've been doing voiceovers on a couple of these multiple times trying to figure out what the problem is here. See, this is kind of like operations mode in a way because you, your area in which you fight changes. <coughs> But man, it's just fun seeing Ray watch around, uh, walk, uh, you know, run around with her lightsaber, and it's just, it's just cool, man. Like I was just looking at the interiors here. <clears throat> I feel like the 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 developers focused more on the interior, um, the interior the interior aspects and at atmosphere to this game. The first one. It was all more natural environments. I think they used the photogrammetry, or is it? I think it's called photogrammetry, or f something like that. <clears throat> and I, they actually went out to real locations and you know took photos and and I don't know how it works exactly, but those were beautiful natural environments. Um, however, I think that a lot of the environments we're going to see here in Battlefront 2 are going to be more interior, more cities. I mean, we're going to have natural ones, obviously, um, but I just feel like they put more work into these interiors, and it's it really adds to the atmosphere of the game. The honor of our brothers. Why we're protecting the throne room, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the queen's still sitting on her throne or some crap. I don't know. Uh, but 
It's cool. Here I was trying out the specialist class. I was trying to figure out if the, if when you're using this these uh, these night vision things, if you can press the right trigger and do anything. Like, does it tag them or does it mark them? I'm not for sure how that works. I think this is the best class right now. I think people are gonna spam this, and then they're gonna have to balance it out. Well, uh, cool thing they added, and I'm glad they did, is just like Battlefield One. If you're using the scope in this game, and you're gonna sit across at the at your spawn point and snipe people, you got a big sniper glint sitting right on you. And I'm glad they did that, because if you're gonna sit back and not play the objective and be a punk, if you're too scared to object, if you're if you're too scared or or maybe you're just not good at uh, um, playing the objective. Or, I don't, or or aggressive sniping. I don't know how that's going to work in this game necessarily. This gun's cool. Start melting people. But, you know, if you're just sitting back there, just being a punk, just trying to get kills, not playing the objective, uh, and you're going to have a big sniper glare on your butt. And I'm glad, because in Battlefield 1, I can still use my iron sights across the map and pop you, because I know exactly how to use my iron sights at that range. In this game, I was using the officer pistol at one point yesterday to... I saw a sniper glint, I just aimed right at it, like exactly in the middle of the sniper glint and just started shooting and I was getting hit markers with the pistol. So I think that that's a good balance. I definitely think it's a good balance. Um, why there's a sniper glint, I don't know. I mean, obviously for balance, balancing issues in Star Wars, does that make sense to me? No, because Star Wars, I'm pretty sure they have technology where they can just look at some random wall and then this... Or like a hologram. They could they could have like a holographic telescope or something and just see like the a holographic model of who are, who they're about to shoot at. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, here I come out with the Wookiee and I don't know how this bowcaster works. I t turned my thing, I started shooting, shooting, shooting. I thought like all of them would die, like melt. But these uh, the the Wookiee, it's he's not Chewbacca. He's not Chewbacca. He's just a Wookiee man. I thought he was Chewbacca. He's not a hero. He's just one of those elite classes. So, yeah, I go back to soldier class here. So, uh, before my recording ends here, like I said, I don't script any of this stuff, so I have the time limit of try to try to sync it up well for you guys. Um, all in all, if I didn't already pre-order, I would buy the game from what I've seen so far, just with this Galactic Assault. Uh, if you watch the intro video to the beta, you can John Boyega tells you everything that's going to be in the game. Uh, and just going through the menu and seeing all the things they have, there's so much progression. The gunplay's improved. Um, you get scraps to to build stuff. You get in-game currency to buy more crates. It's all in all, it's I. You know how I I'm honest, man. It entertains me. You know, it entertains me, so that's my opinion. Y'all take it easy.